GoCryptoMe, it is the first decentralized autonomous organization crowdfunding platform powered by blockchain where you can raise money for any project you want without a third party. First, to better understand what this new project solves, we need to understand what a crowdfunding is and what issues has. Crowdfunding is the use of small amounts of capital from a large number of individuals to finance a new business or project. The issue about crowdfunding is that usually these apps have limited security measures, so the investors face a higher risk of fraud by supporting these startup projects. Crowdfunding platforms usually are very limited to a certain amount of people that already know and support the project at the very beginning, this because it relies on how well-known it is the new project. So sometimes good projects don't get a successful crowdfunding because they are not known enough on a social media platform. And other big issues is that usually crowdfunding platforms can often have a lot of fees which can be quite discouraging for young creators. GoCryptoBee's goal is to facilitate crowdfunding with different solutions but not only. It is an advanced decentralized finance protocol that runs on multiple blockchain ecosystems. GoCryptoMe integrates the power of DeFi and digital cryptocurrencies to make this process more decentralized and fair. By using blockchain like Binance, Smart Chain, Ethereum, Avalanche, and Polygon, in fact, they are able to remove centralization and improve transaction speed. With blockchain now, crowdfunding becomes decentralized with no need of third parties, which makes crowdfunding much more affordable. Also, it is very transparent as you can keep track on the blockchains, so it is less likely manipulated as it is transparent. GoCryptoMe brings solutions with tokenization because investors can now have an equity share of the project they are financing and with smart contracts as they are much faster since they don't require intermediaries. This provides better protection from fraud and enables greater security for intellectual property. This project has launched on the 5th February. I am not sure if there is any recorded information before that as I have not found anything. Therefore, I don't know if it is a safe investment to do. They have not been audited yet, and they are only available on PancakeSwap at the moment. There is no clear team behind it which seems a bit strange in my opinion. However, they are having an enormous growth in regards token value. Before we continue, I just want to clarify something that you might have forgotten. We only do educational entertainment and my job here is not to be your financial advisor, so please do your own researches before investing. Okay, so if we now have a look at their white paper, it is quite simple. First of all, we can see here how global crowdfunding increased from almost $9 billion in 2020 to over $110 billion in 2021. And this is the market they want to enter and bring more solutions. GoCryptoMe created a platform powered by the people for the people. Holders of their NFT will be able to vote on projects inclusion on the crowdfunding website. They have low fees compared to other websites, and this is where the fees goes. The platform charges a 3% fee on each campaign. 1% of this goes to the platform operating expenses. 1% goes to the pools for staking rewards, which we will get back to it later. 0.5% goes to participation rewards for the decentralized autonomous organization NFT holders and 0.5% goes to buy back and burn of the tokens. However, I am no sure who the company is and who is behind this project as there is a lack of information in regards this. GoCryptoMe will launch an app, and this will be powered by the GoCryptoMe token. With this token, you will be able to list your project, donate, and stake. It is not specified on the white paper. It seems that they are going to have a maximum supply of 100 million token, which is quite low, and this will be bridged to four blockchains initially, Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, Avalanche, and Polygon. For the moment, seems to be active only on Binance Smart Chain. There will be a 5% fee for each blockchain transaction that will go for development operations and support for the GoCryptoMe project. The token is currently trading at around $0.12 per coin, and its market cap is $11 million. It had a 200% run-up in the past 48 hours, and since it launched at the beginning of February, it grew by 500%. In regards staking, you will have the option to stake without a time lock with lower rewards, which at the moment seems that they don't allow it yet, but if you want to stake for 60 days, you will get almost 100% rewards or 150% if you stake for 120 days, which is quite a long lock time period, almost 4 months. Keep in mind that this is a new project, so the risk of the token going extremely low in value is high. In that case, huge staking rewards would be worth nothing. The GoCryptoMe management team, which is not specified who it is, will create a decentralized autonomous organization. NFT holders will be able to vote when a request is made for a new campaign, and it has to be approved by 55% of it, obviously, to be accepted and listed. 
However, there is no further information in regards to the NFT, so they might launch it in the future and give extra information. If we look into the roadmap, we can see that in quarter one, they have planned to launch the website and the token, which they did. The decentralized autonomous organization they didn't launch yet, and I'm actually not sure how come there are already crowdfunding if there is no way to take part to the vote. Then they have centralized exchange listing on every quarter. For the moment, they are not listed on any exchange, so let's see if they are going to get listed anywhere in this next month as quarter one will finish. In the coming quarters, they don't seem to have much plan, just marketing campaigns, listings on exchanges, and they want to increase the holders. It is very vague to be honest, and so far quarter one is almost over and they didn't get listed on any centralized exchange, they have not been listed on CoinGecko yet, and it doesn't seem like the NFT have launched, so there is no decentralized autonomous organization to vote and approve the crowdfunding. I don't know if this is a reliable project, it is not clear who is behind it, and they have few things planned which they did not achieve yet. Also, they have not been audited, so I'm not sure how safe it is to invest in this token. Lastly, if we have a look at the running crowdfundings, we can see there are some, and I don't know if they voted to approve these or what. If you then want to try and create a campaign at the moment, it doesn't work, and in my opinion, it doesn't give a professional appearance to the platform. Also, I have some other concerns. If we check on Binance Scan, we can see the holders here. A part of this 2.4% that is from PancakeSwap, there is basically a 90% of the supply in like four addresses. One is the deployer, one has 77% of the supply, and it is locked until May for 90 days, which I don't understand why it is not locked for a longer period amount of time, and then two more addresses, which I'm not sure for what it is. It doesn't look well distributed, and one of these addresses can easily make the price dump significantly. However, I might be wrong. Maybe they will improve the address points and this will turn up being a much safer investment than it seems. What do you think about it? If you think this is a safe investment, let me know in the comments below.